Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to sign up for a service anonymously. We're going to be talking about some of the tips and tricks you can do, some of the services and products you can use as well. Now keep in mind guys, this video and this entire channel is not monetized. We have no YouTube ads and we accept no sponsorships. That said, if you do want to help support the channel through my aff trusted affiliate partners, you can do so. I'll be putting links for all the products mentioned in this video in the description down below. Clicking on those links or using my discount codes can get you the best price. But if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to help support the channel, you don't have to do so. It's completely optional. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into some of the tips and tricks. All right, guys. So when paying for a service, one of the best ways to remain anonymous right away is just to anonymize your payment information. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this. Uh, one way is if you're in the United States, you can use a service ca called privacy.com. Now, I'm not sponsored by this service, but I've been using them for a number of years and it's a great service. They'll even dispute transactions if you find something fraudulent or if a service doesn't give you what you paid for, which is I, why I like it. It's also completely free to use. Um, so that is very nice to see. It's generally a very good company and product. Um, and this is for us people. Basically what it does is you connect your bank account so you can pay for things, but you could generate digital debit cards that you could set limits on, pause them or anything like that. And you don't have to use your IRL information, whether that be your billing address or anything like that to pay for services. So this is a really good service to anonymize your payment information. That said, if you're out of the United States, you can always use cryptocurrency. Now, some people don't really bother with crypto because it is kind of confusing for newcomers. Um, but that said, if you do want to get into cryptocurrency, something like Coinbase is not bad to start off. Um, buying some Bitcoin there. Some of the other things you can do. Um, you know, the probably most anonymous way to pay for something is Monero. Um, but honestly, for new people, that is going to be a little bit tricky to get into since a lot of exchanges don't support it. Um, and yeah, but paying around something with Bitcoin is decently anonymous. Now, is it 100% anonymous? No, um, but it will save you from giving your sensitive information to a lot of websites. And they're not really going to be bothering to track back where the transactions lead. Um, primarily when people say Bitcoin isn't anonymous, they're saying for criminals and stuff like that, where spy agencies can track you, but for basic transactions and everything like that, it is more anonymous than just using a credit card that links back to all your information. So that's two different, def, different ways to uh, pay anonymously. Next up. So if we're obfuscating our payment method, we do kind of want to obfuscate our computer's address. One of the ways that websites kind of ascertain your address is from your IP address. Um, when you go to a website, they can see your IP and this means they can see your general real world location and they could kind of track you based on who you are by your IP address. One of the most popular ways to do that is to um, hide your IP address is by using a VPN. Now, most of now, most of the content here on the channel is around VPNs and um, we've made one of the world's first VPN tier lists. Um, you could check out vpntheorless.com or I've rated pretty much every one objectively with a rating table. And you can see all the individual scores in this huge table I've made with pretty much all the biggest VPNs right now. Um, for this video, we're actually going to be recommending to use a VPN called Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is the number two rated VPN here on the channel. It's not perfect. No VPN is. But that said, for this video specifically, Surfshark is a good VPN because it does include some things that we do want to use. Some of the things that Surfshark includes are some really cool alias features, um, which makes it very useful for paying for things. So guys, when you are paying for things, sometimes you'll have to make a fake payment information. Um, let's say using the privacy.com or you're signing up for a service. You want to kind of obfuscate your identity by making fake details. Now, the cool thing about Surfshark is if you do get the um, package here that has online alias. So as long as you get the Surfshark one package, um, use my link in the description to get the best ongoing deal. It has 12 months, 24 months. Um, so pretty good deal for what it is. Um, but it, as long as you get the middle package or better, you can have this cool alternate, um, functionality. So basically you can manage the details and Surfshark's kind of online form here. Um, you could create an alternate persona and kind of save it. Um, so you could pick different areas, different things like this. And this is honestly one of the best alternate persona things I've seen. There are some websites out there that can do similar functionality for free, 
but they're a lot clunkier and filled with ads. And this one is convenient because you can kind of have the same one, um, which is really nice. And it, it's very nice how you could pick specific um, things here, specific countries, which is cool. And you could copy all the details and you could even see it within the app too, just to copy each individual one. So using this is a good way to obfuscate your payment information and keep yourself more secure. Another cool thing with Surfshark is that they have this alternate email feature, which basically lets you make a kind of fake email address that will forward it to whatever email you want. As you can see, it's very easy to use. You can pick a wide variety of email domains. Um, you pretty much just cl click this and then link the email and it will forward it to you. So that is pretty cool. You have the fake kind of credentials you can make. You have this fake kind of email and you have the VPN bonus. That's why I recommend this one for this video. It's a really good deal for what you get. Additionally, not only that, but with Surfshark, you do get antivirus for this plan too, which is really nice. So if you're paying for antivirus, this one is pretty good. It uses Avira SDK, which is a tried and trusted antivirus kind of um, maker. Um, so it's going to be pretty powerful here to work as that. Additionally, if you want to go the full route, you can even get um, Surfshark One Plus, and this includes Incogni. It says data removal from company databases. Now this primarily is gonna be a feature um, if you're looking to kind of expand your privacy online. Let's say up until now you've been buying websites and services and paying for utilities and stuff like that. And you've noticed that your IRL information is now hosted on websites like white pages. Now what this feature does in Cogni or it's included within the Surfshark um, right here, it doesn't say it's incogni, but that's what it is. It's included within. Um, you'll get this one included, and this is going to remove your information from websites like White Pages. So it will remove your address, your phone number, and stuff like that. It's called a data broker removal service, and I recommend this one as one of the top ones here on my channel. It's definitely a solid pickup as well if you do want to go for the bigger bundle plan. So it will include incogni all those cool little alias features I talk about, antivirus, and the VPN that will anonymize your IP. So it's probably one of the best deals you can get with all those things included. Another thing that Surfshark does include is this alert functionality. Now this lets you monitor emails to see if you've been in any data breaches, whether you signed up for a service and there's some kind of data breach. It also lets you scan credit cards to see if any credit cards you've entered has been copied or anything like that, as well as your ID. So that is pretty cool and it's definitely a way to stay secure. You could see the ID functionality here, the credit card feature here, and the email monitoring. And this, once again, is included with the Surfshark one package you, you don't even need one plus that includes incogni so yeah pretty good and you can see why i picked this vpn for some of these things especially for paying and staying anonymous with some of these payment options all right guys i hope that helped you in this video let me know down in the comments down below if you know any tricks and trips i forgot to mention and i'll see you in the next video very soon